Hello you sexy people. Last week I asked you to send me your questions on Twitter. You did. And now I'm going to try and answer some of them. Okay, so there's two questions regarding favorite books and favorite authors. So I'll do those two as one. Um, this is easy for me because it's always the same answer. My single favorite book ever is by Carl Sagan and it's called The Demon Haunted World. Um, it's a book that changed my life. I read it in my uh, late teens, I think. And uh, Richard Dawkins has got a quote on the front saying that he wished he'd written a book. So, you know, that's pretty high accolade from him. Um, so uh, it's all about the, um, the importance of being able to distinguish between uh, facts and hearsay and, you know, just applying the scientific methodology, uh, understanding how to think about things properly. And it's just invaluable information. Uh, I'm not sure you can still get hold of the book, but if you can download it or borrow it or get it secondhand, definitely everybody go out and read Carl Sagan, The Demon Haunted World. It's so important, uh, more so now today in the information age of information overload, where we're constantly bombarded with information. The ability to be, to be able to distinguish what's real and how to contextualize that is more important now than ever. So that's my number one all-time favorite book, favorite author. Best advice I've ever been given? Uh, I think probably um, with the ability to look back now over my life, um, I think the best advice I've probably been given, which I haven't always taken, is to trust my instinct and to go with what I what I know to be correct. I've not. There's been so many times in my life when I haven't done that, and I've I've doubted myself and I've questioned myself, and um, what I what I felt at the time turned out to be. The, the, the thing that was true further down the line. So um, if there's one thing I kicked myself for, it's for not just trusting my instinct uh, at the time. So that would be uh, the best advice I know to be true that I've ever been given. And it's one that I would uh, pass on to anybody. Um, if you feel it in your bones, that something just doesn't feel right or that something doesn't add up, trust yourself, you're probably right. If I could live in any time period, what would it be? That's a super cool question, and I'm tempted to say, you know, like, I don't know, 1920s or something, but nah, man, I'm, I'm pretty, I, I think we live in a pretty awesome time now, I gotta be honest, um, with this amazing technology that allows us to communicate with each other from all around the world. Like, I've never met any of you guys, and here we are, having a two-way conversation, exchanging ideas, uh, exchanging our passions and I just think it's absolutely incredible. Um, I remember, bef uh, I'm old enough to remember <laughs> before um, this was possible, before this was a thing, you know? Um, so I can fully appreciate that we live in a magnificent time now where we've all got access to so much culture and information and exchange of uh, really uh, enlightening and enriching content um, through a phone that's in your pocket. <laughs> like any time you wanna like tap into just the biggest library of information and content at any moment during the day, you've got it in your pocket. That is insane. So I'm pretty happy living where we are now. It's not perfect, but it never is. And that's down to us to, uh, to sort that out. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy now. Software for home recordings. Well, um, I don't know. GarageBand, if you're on Mac, is really, really good. Um, that's one that I've done countless things on. I'm really old school. I use Cubase, uh, a really old version of Cubase, and all of uh, my recordings are done on that. I do all my own recordings at home. Um, and the new album, called Home, uh, was actually done in the studio using Cubase. So that's the one that I use. I'm quick on it. I know what I'm doing on it. Um, it's not the most up-to-date version, but I can just go in and I know what I'm doing and I can crack on. But uh, for home recordings, I definitely recommend GarageBand if you're on Mac um, and you can get hold of a copy of that quite cheap, I think. Um, if you're on PC, I'm sorry, I don't really know what to tell you. But there's loads of like cool free stuff and free apps you can get on your tablet, which I use as well. Um, so just having noise around. There's so much cool stuff available for everybody these days. It's amazing. Good luck. Ooh, I've performed in lots of places uh, in terms of countries. Um, let's think UK, been all over the UK um, many times. France, Belgium, Netherlands, um, Germany, Spain, Italy, uh, Portugal. Um, 
I feel bad because I feel like I'm going to forget places. Switzerland, um, uh, Canada, uh, yeah, lo lots of places. We've been through lots of countries. Um, and what was the other question? Which famous person would I like to meet? Oh. <laughs> Man, there's loads. Most of the most of the guys that most of my idols and and people that really influenced and inspired me are dead now. You know, uh, Frank Zappa, people like that. But I mean, I'm a massive, massive Roger Waters fan. If I could ever meet Roger Waters, I would love to shake his hand. And uh, you know, he, he's an absolute legend. Um, and uh, I'd probably say Jay Z. I love Jay Z. I think he's super cool, and he knows. He certainly knows some secrets about how to get shit done that the rest of us don't. And I'd like to find out what they are. <laughs> so, uh, and just to get a selfie, because that'd be awesome. So, thanks so much. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. There's there's five off the list. Please keep sending them in. Um, there's loads and loads of cool questions. I'll try and do sort of like the best of the rest or something like that um, at some point as well. We we'll just mash them in. But uh, keep sending them. Uh, hashtag it uh, Twinterview. Um, and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Love you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wicked day. And I'll see you again soon. Mwah.